Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio here along with my colleagues to show you how to share your screen in Google Meet. In this video, I will show you not only how to share your screen, but also what it looks like when somebody else is sharing their screen. This is useful if you are teaching online due to whatever the latest variant of the COVID-19 virus is. I am recording this in January of 2022 and we are on Omicron, but do us a favor if you're watching this, go ahead and leave a comment below for whatever variant we are on currently. So let's dive right into it. How do you share your screen? You do that by going down here to the present now button. You notice this is conspicuously similar looking and in the same location as the share screen button in Zoom, but they gave it a different name, present now. Go ahead and click on that and you will be presented with three different options, share your entire screen, share a window, or share a tab of your browser with a note that this is best for video and animation. So let's go through those one at a time. First, let's share the entire screen. So present now, share your entire screen. Now I'm recording this on a computer with two monitors. I'll make a separate video covering that. But for now, assume you only have one monitor. So you're going to need to select the screen where you already have Google Meet appear and then click share. And you notice that that is going to kind of create an infinite effect here where I am sharing the screen that I'm looking at and that is going to pop up in my Google Meet window here. So it's just kind of going to make infinite repetitions of this screen. And it has a little note down here that says to avoid an infinity mirror, don't share your entire screen or browser window, share just a tab or a different window instead. So in theory, if I wanted to share something else on this screen, I could minimize Google Meet. And now everybody else in the meeting should be able to see just what's on my screen here, but I can't see Google Meet at all if I'm on a single monitor. So that isn't very helpful. We will take a look at what this looks like on the other end later when I try sharing an entire screen from a different computer and record what we see on this one. But for now, let's check out those window and browser tab share options. So to do that, first I'm going to stop sharing my entire screen with the button in this little floating window. I am on two monitors, so originally this had been over on my other monitor, but if you were only on one monitor to begin with, you would have had this where you can click the stop sharing button. I'm then going to bring back up the browser window I had minimized, go back down to the present now button, and let's check out the browser tab option first. I'm going to select a tab, and I already have a Google Slides tab open if you are using Google Suites and all Google products, maybe you're using Google Slides instead of uh, PowerPoint. There is a checkbox here for share tab audio that is checked by default for me. So if you don't wanna accidentally share audio from your tab, you can go ahead and uncheck that and then go ahead and click share. Now it's going to automatically switch me over to this browser tab with instead of that little floating window, you notice that these controls are now integrated in the tab. So I can stop sharing this tab. And if I wanna switch back over to my Google Meet tab, it looks like I can click view tab googlemeet.com and it'll switch me back over here very quickly where I can now easily see what everybody else sees and it's still sharing that other tab. But for example, if I had multiple slides here and I wanted to toggle back and forth between my slides, I could come back over to this tab to control it. So you can still use your regular browser tabs for control up here, but you also get this extra little button that says view tab, view tab, and you can switch back and forth. And if you have multiple tabs open, you can see I've created another presentation here. You'll see that you will get a share this tab instead button. So that allows you to rapidly switch between which tab you are sharing. And then that will always give you a view tab to go back to your Google Meet tab. So if you do have a lot of tabs open, you kind of have these buttons as an additional navigation option to quickly get back to your meeting and change the tab you are sharing. And of course, when you are giving a presentation, you probably want everybody else to see the full screen slides and not the editor mode with the toolbar and everything here. So to do that with Google Slides, you go up here to the slideshow button. That is going to make this almost full screen. You still have your browser controls up here at the top. And if you go check over in your Google Meet tab, you will then see that everybody else sees your full screen slides without the toolbars and options and all of that. One additional note to be careful about, if you start using presenter view in Google Slides, you can do that by clicking the down arrow next to slideshow and click on presenter view. That will give you an extra pop-up tab with your presenter view that has the timer and notes and all of that stuff, which I haven't really included here. But now you have to be a little careful if you're on a single monitor because this is going to be over top of your browser window here. And if you click back over to the meeting tab, you see that everybody else is seeing just your main slide, but now you've lost presenter view. So you need to toggle back over 
to your browser windows and open that up. So that definitely works if you have two monitors. Again, I can drag this over to my second monitor here, but if you're on a single monitor, this is kind of gonna get in your way and then you're gonna lose it every time you switch tabs. So watch out for that. All right, that's enough of the tab sharing. Let's check out the window sharing options. So I've gone ahead and stopped sharing those tabs. I'm going to go back down to my present now button and select a window. And this time it is going to give me an option to share different windows of programs that I currently have open on my computer. So since PowerPoint is going to be one of your other very common presentation tools, let's try that one out. I'm going to select a PowerPoint presentation that I have open and select share and it's going to automatically switch me over to PowerPoint, but notice that since this is not integrated in a browser tab, I don't really easily have a way to switch back to Google Meet right now unless I go over to my Windows taskbar, which in my case is on my second monitor, or use Alt-Tab to go back to my browser tab here. But again, I do see I am sharing my screen. You can see what everybody else sees. And it's given me that little infinity mirror warning, which is kind of odd, so and clearly Google Meet is designed to work better with other Google products and that integration with Google Slides is a little nicer, but I can go back to my PowerPoint here. And again, if I wanna go into presentation or slideshow mode, I can do this, go full screen here. And if I wanna check on what other people are seeing, can go back to my meeting and confirm that they can see it here. Now, one interesting and quick bug I have noticed here that I believe is related to dual monitors, so I'm not gonna cover it in too much depth in this video since I'm assuming you only have one monitor. If I have a window minimized and it's over on my second monitor, so my Windows taskbar is on my second monitor that you can't see right now, and I minimized PowerPoint, if I go back to present now and select a window, you'll see that PowerPoint is no longer showing up here. So even if I expand PowerPoint, and say maximize it over on my second monitor there we go okay so it does not detect things that are currently minimized on your system you have to have the window open somewhere so for example if you wanted to have your powerpoint open and ready to go you would have to make sure it's maximized here then click to get your google meet browser on top of it don't minimize the powerpoint to get google meet because then it is going to make powerpoint disappear so that might not actually be a dual monitor thing but if you know you have a program open and you click share and it doesn't appear in this list, apparently at least on Windows, I haven't tested this on Mac, you might wanna make sure you do not have that program minimized. All right, so that covered all three options for sharing your screen as promised. Let's see what it looks like when somebody else is sharing their screen. Now, one quick note, if you are the host and you want to make it available for other people, for example, if a student is giving a presentation, make sure you go down here to the host controls and have screen sharing enabled for everybody in the meeting. Otherwise, if you're already the host and you're presenting to your students, this will just give you a view of what it looks like for them. So I have borrowed Elmo's computer. I'm gonna go over here and share a PowerPoint that I have set up on this computer. So I'm gonna use the window share option and select the PowerPoint, click share. And then you see that my view automatically rearranges to show Elmo's screen over here large on the left and the other people in the meeting over here on the right. Again, I'm gonna go down to Elmo's computer and actually go into slideshow mode to get that full screen view. The one thing you will note here is that the individual viewers do still retain the ability to pin somebody else. So for example, if I want to, I can pin this video to my main screen instead of pinning the presentation if I wanted to see the speaker larger than the um, slides themselves. So. I will have to explore in a future video exactly what controls hosts and students might have there. So for example, in Zoom, there is a spotlight feature where the host can override pinning by individual participants. If you wanna make sure that the shared screen or a certain speaker is larger and students aren't just pinning their friends and not paying attention to you or something, not sure what that functionality is like in Google Meet yet. Again, that is a topic for a future video. All right, hopefully that was a very thorough overview of how to share your screen in Google Meet. If you have a question, please go ahead and leave a comment below this video. If you would like to learn more about Google Meet or Zoom, please check out the description below this video for links to playlists with dozens of other tutorials. Thank you.